What's up, YouTube? This is Bison X39, guys. Today I'm coming to you with my latest video for January 2020, and today we're going to be looking at my Metal Foes Cosmo deck. Now, Metal Foes Cosmo has always been one of the more uh, consistent versions of the Cosmo deck that's out there. Just being able to plus hard off of the destructions off of your cards and getting a lot of materials out of your deck onto the field ASAP. All right, more recently, the two Draco engine was incorporated into the deck and it just helped boost the deck's overall consistency to another level, as well as give it another layer of field control, um, which is just huge, okay? I can't tell you how fun this deck was. It can break apart your opponent's fields, and it can just be such an annoying deck for your opponent to deal with. Um, just being able to plus off a lot of different cards. So without further ado, we're going to get right into this deck. Three copies of Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Whenever this card is summoned, you target one of your opponent's monsters. Destroy it. It's one of the bigger Cosmo ships, so it can't be targeted by your opponent's card effects. But if your opponent does manage to destroy it by battle or through a card effect and it's into the graveyard, you can then banish it from the graveyard and special summon a level 7 or lower Cosmo monster straight from your deck to the field. Cosmo Slip Rider. Whenever this card is summoned, you can target one of your opponent's spells and traps. Destroy it. Awesome, pretty simple effect. Whenever this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, and includes your own card effects, you can then turn around and... Like Dark Destroyer, special summon any level 4 or lower Cosmo Monster from your deck to the field. Alright, Cosmo Pilots. Cosmo Dark Lady. Um, Dark Lady is pretty damn awesome, primarily because while she's on the field, you can pay a thousand life points to negate a monster effect and then destroy that card. And like all pilots, you can then she has a quick effect which allows you to banish her to special summon a Cosmo ship from your hand to the field. Alright. Two copies of Cosmo Strawman. Strawman is pretty damn awesome in this deck. Okay, pay 500 life points, you get a Cosmo monster that's been banished back onto the field. It's a fix and negate it and it's destroyed at the end of the turn, so you're more than likely going to be recycling your ships to, to be able to destroy them during the end of the turn and get their effects off and get more stuff out of the, your deck. Alright. Cosmo Farm Girl, what can I say? She is an OTK machine. Whenever she inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you can pay 500 life points, search your deck for another Cosmo card, add it to your hand, and then use her pilot effect to banish her and special summon the Cosmo monster you searched onto the field to extend the attack string. And then, last but not least, Cosmo Tin Can. Pay 500 life points, and then during the end phase, reveal three Cosmo cards from your deck to your opponent. Your opponent chooses one randomly, adds that card to your hand, the other two cards are sent to the graveyard. That's it for the Cosmos, for the Metal Foes. Running one rare Metal Foe, um, Bison Gear, primarily because of its monster effect whenever it is destroyed. On the field, during the end phase, you can search your deck for a Metal Foes card or monster, excuse me, to add to your hand. And then like all Metal Foes uh, Pendle Monsters, they have the same scales, which is if you can target a card on your field, a face-up card on your field, you can destroy it, and then you're able to take a Metal Foes Spell or Trap from your deck and put it onto the field, which is huge. All right, for the other Metal Foes, we got one copy of Metal Foes Stealing for this an extra eight scale. Um, Two copies of Metal Ford Silver for the one scale. Two copies of Metal Fold Gold Driver for the one scale. And then two copies of Metal Fells Full, full Flame for the eight scale. All right. Last monster in the deck. I'm actually running two copies of Ignis Heat, the True Draco Warrior, primarily because whenever your opponent activates a card effect, this card will then allow you to search your deck for a True Draco spell basically add and activate it onto the field, which is right from your deck, which is just huge. Alright. Not only that, but when, while Diagram is face up in the field, it goes up to 2700 and it becomes a lot more harder to kill because of Diagram's effects. Alright, moving forward, let's talk about some of the field spells in this deck. We have two copies of Cosmo Town. Oh, Cosmo Town is pretty damn awesome. 
um, just allowing you to be able to um, fix maybe a brick hand by shuffling cards, more cards you don't need in your hand back into your deck. And then redrawing the same number of cards it allows you to get cards um, back from the banner zone by paying light points equal to that monster's level. Okay. Get them back into your hand, and then last but not least, whenever Cosmo Town is destroyed by a card effect, you get to search another Cosmo card to add to your hand, which is just huge. All right, moving forward. Dra three copies of Draco Diagram. And this is card is necessary primarily because it can pop cards on the field wall or in the hand to basically search out any true Draco's monster, spell, or trap that you need to get into your hand and eventually onto the field. Um, it makes the true Draco monsters, Ignis Heat specifically, a lot harder to kill because your opponent has to turn around and attack over twice to get it off the field. And then it's just an awesome starter card to have. Alright, to get into your field spells, we do have one copy of Terraforming. And to help this deck get going, we also have one copy of Set Rotation. Set Rotation can allow you to turn around and give your opponent a Cosmo Town and yourself a Draco Diagram. Um, from there, you can just turn around and pop off a Draco spell or summon out a Cosmo Slipfighter to destroy the Cosmo talent that you gave your opponent and ultimately get an additional search off of it, which is just huge. For the Draco spells, two copies of True Draco Heritage. All right, all True Draco spells, when they leave the field and hit the graveyard, they target a, a spell your opponent controls or trap your opponent controls and destroys it. All right. Draco Heritage basically can give you additional draws based on the number of true Draco um, cards that were destroyed um, by other card effects, specifically like Diagram um, during the turn. Awesome. And then, of course, we also won two copies of Dra Disciples of the True Draco Phoenix, primarily because this can allow you to recycle three true Draco cards back into your deck and draw an additional card. Alright, moving forward to help get your Cosmo Pilots or Metal Foes cards from your deck onto the field, you have a copy of Emergency Teleport. You also have a copy of Metal Foes Fusion. This is the best card, in my opinion, um, for Fusion, summoning out your Metal Foes Fusion monsters, primarily because whenever this card is in the graveyard, you can shuffle it back into your deck and draw an additional card. Alright. Monster Reborn just helps you get access to other um, monsters from either Pilot's Graveyard, so it's always a great card to have, include in your deck. And last but not least, we have two copies of Super Paramorization. Um, Super Paramorization is the best fusion card out there, primarily because you can utilize not just your own monsters, but your opponent's monsters as well, um, allowing you to break boards a little bit more easily and achieve your fusion um, plays. Moving forward, we also have two copies of Metal Falls Counter. Metal Falls Counter basically is whenever a any card on your field is destroyed by battle or card effect, it turns it into a floater, allowing you to special summon a Metal Falls monster from your deck right to your field, which is awesome. Um, while this card is in the graveyard, you can banish it and get a face-up Metal Falls monster from your extra deck back into your hand. And then last but not least, we have two copies of True Draco Apocalypse. Whenever this card leaves the field, hits the graveyard, you're targeting one of your opponent's monsters to destroy it. Um, the other cool effect is that you can destroy another True Draco card that you have in the field and half your opponent's attack, which is just huge. All right. For the extra deck, one copy of Metaphors Mithrilium. Uh, this card is pretty awesome. Allows you to recycle cards from your graveyard back into your deck um, and bounce cards off your opponent's field as well. So, great field control presence. An amazing card. We only really need one co copy of this card in the deck anyway. So, but when you get on the field, it's going to basically allow you to do a lot more things. All right. One copy of Metal Falls. Orichalc can do double piercing damage if your opponent decides to hide monsters in defense position. Awesome. One copy of Full Metal Falls, Alka Hest. Um, I like to call him Alka Heist primarily because of his effect. Um, he has a quick effect that allows you to basically target one of your opponent's monsters and basically equip it to him. Um, 
He gains defense equal to all the monsters. It steals combined attack, which is just awesome, making it really more problematic. And even really cool is you can utilize monsters. It's it is stolen as fusion materials for your fusion plays. All right, so useful. All right, one copy of Metal Falls Adamante and Metal Falls Crimson Knight to round out the Metal Falls fusions. Um, for the Super Poly plays, Typeplexer Chimera, um, great card, especially if you're going up against a cyber stack like Salomon Greats, just to be able to turn around and fuse two of those monsters to get this card in the field. This card can also clear itself out of the extra monster zone. Um, pretty easy to be tripping itself off, and then your opponent can't really activate any, any card effects during a battle phase, which is awesome. And then, of course, last but not least, we have one copy of Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Can they gate monster effects as well as power itself up so an awesome card to have for Xyz plays one copy of artifact Durandal okay has a pretty co awesome effect basically a quick effect where you can attach material and basically turn any card effect your opponent activates into destroy a spell a trap card effect which is just huge because you start comboing that in with your true Draco spells and traps you're removing more stuff off your opponent's field Alright, and then furthermore, if your both players have a hand, you can detach the material, and basically they have to shuffle their hand into your deck and draw the same number of cards. So if you catch your hand, opponent shorthanded, you can, and they're probably going to be looking to stick that one card in for a extension, you can then ruin their plays with that. Um, in case you get two copies of Sulfrider on the field, you can go into Nova, which is then gives you access to Infinity. Um, Infinity is just an extra negate on the board, as well as it can steal monsters off your opponent's boards to break them. So, all in all, an awesome card. And then, for a rank 7 play, I like to have Red, Red Eyes Flare Metal Dragon. Um, kind of reminds me of the bigger Cosmo ships, because while it has Xyz materials, it can't be targeted by your opponent's card effects. It has 2800 attack, which makes it pretty beefy and hard to get over. Um, and then whenever your opponent activates any card effect, after that card effect resolves, you hit them with... 500 points of effect damage. Any t any amount of damage can actually help you just basically win that duel. So awesome. Links. Um, metal Falls. Heavy Metal Falls. Electromite. It just synergizes too well with any pendulum mechanic, so it has to be included in the Asher deck. Um, can utilize it for the fusion of Alkahest. A lot of people overlook that. Um, or you can just build it up into higher links, like Topological Trisbania. Kelp White back rows for those back row movie decks. Or you can use this as a stepping stone to get into your Topological Bomber Dragon, which can basically allow you to nuke the board and even inflict effect damage whenever it battles your opponent. Alright guys, that is it for my Metal Pulse Cosmo deck for January 2020. As always, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this on my channel, make sure to subscribe. Enable notifications so you don't miss a single upload. Check out the description box below. Find the invite link to my Discord server. Join the conversation. We'll love to have you. Follow me on Twitter. And if you guys want to help support the channel, use the my TCG Player affiliate link in the description box when you shop on tcgplayer.com. All right, guys, until next time, as always, peace.